o wele ke nda hu gbara tubo ru na le doki ati ko le ko bo nu ni eh eni ra ela gwa ka lo ga ru ru e ru onu 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 nga ntio e ma ra pu ma cha gba ri ade ko la kwa nda gbara na le doki si hu mje du re me kulu mu na inde na mba ahum ke mi e ko so na azu le ko nu a wo koro bi amare kwa ya ko nu a e we ri nu akusu nu subo ko di he o we ko nu nje akpa gwa ndo ke si na chiri ko hu so onu amara otu nguzo ke hu nwa na ma tu mu nguzo si mari nu mi o de me oku o bere wa foil nta na aka foil foil nya ele je ke ma ma ele je si nje na aka bere nya eh bayro bayro we pu nya ink na aka na aka a enyi da ko le meke o se nde na de de hai ase ma hai ka a ho o ke ase ma o nya aka na kpokuru mi ni ase nde de mbo ze na ka aka mma na agba so ka ke 1000 o na ebu ya tem tije ase mi sika ina rukwa ni kije were 1000 kije nya o were meri ni hi gbata so ka i ma ga ri eje okwa ase e i metiri nwoye i ma zuru chana na ma ni ja ho mi ni i me lekato mu nne tete na ni ni de ndo kwa so e gbata so mpuru mi ni 1000 no bochi i ji kwa ni ke me nyi ndo de ko zo we izu le ko ohi o so nyi de ku nyi a oke agwo ojo kpotela ale ndo ke nyi o mu nne yi won so nwa te yi nwa nwa nne yi wa wan ni nwe nye re o wan so mu nte mara na ali onu da pa gba kunu de bare yin re biko wo pu ihere wo pu dede wo pu na na tu yoruru wo pu ni le nti onu na gbasai biko nyo enyi nyo si kike de me inwam onye olo wu na na hu si ba su hu ogbare ba inda onu na kuso ku oku ko gbo kai ba hu oga abaso ga ake pa akwa so ku dede bala oga bu wa asa na nne olia nda kunu ide nyo akunu ode imnya ko ekunya awona mbenyo nwa tara se akoda akwasi na ka na ka no na akwa eh na ka o guzoro na ka agwa o guzoro asim guzoro mi nika o se na agbacha asu gba no ram o ram e da atu ya o but na me we ka ga hin wuna na me da lot ten je but ya gbaso se woni highness asim abadi is na ka aguru ko asim no guzoro wona no nya we na ehin wuna o ji de ka ndisi de nwure ni ike we gbacha aso ni hin wuna brain e cool low down e ho nyara no we putala gbeku ya lo se na ka de matai no we ka na po off na off ara ni gba aso no ku na ya beri nye bayro ana aka na me de create m oda na hia na ma ma gbo ji na hia no gbo ya buru kwa aso ya no so da na le nkoda pokoro mi aburu beri ya kwa na me ti sakwa oda na hia kwa ya na ka ka na po off asima oluweliwe na nya wo nya ojo na le ndo keke hu nya nde kuni umu nna anyi ganya na uzo o were nke nga na anya hi ga park ya che de enyi mo puta mi na suri ga praise night the other day ahum ke kuku nde nwo ni mo ya ka nka ga ohe egi nka ga tutu egi mai na ga ga ohe egi no a gbem de nuhu na nka but ka wo nro ka cho egi na aputu ugbu a egudim bu chinese ugbu a de na elu so ka wo ngba na aga egi aba nyu ase ojo ala huru osim na aba mpu yero ga nyu nje we de me mbe mpu ele ma na uru mi ni ka ra gba ni mo ha uru mi ni ka ra gba ni mo ha ara gba uru mi ni matches na nkeri lighter na nkeri aba nyu we si he o ame me nyu ko le na nya wa go ojo no ma hala ka ogbe akpie nya nweni first the dangerous thing about it you know they very addictive the moment they get hooked to so hook them become a problem and we don't have rehabilitation home around it we don't even have functioning schools talk more of rehab for this group of individuals they are getting cold they are getting cold on daily basis Can you please ask your cousins, your nephews, your friends in the community as you're around, what are you doing? You don't look how you used to look. At this age, at this level they are, we can actually pull them back with attention and care, with relocation. If you can take any of them along with you back to, city, to the city, please do. 
Because when they turn a big nuisance in your community, you will not be safe for returning. When they become uncontrollable, when they grow to the giant monster they are growing to become, you will be so scared of for your own life if you will not be a victim. Don't ignore these things. They are real around us. There is a high level of societal decadence to the extent that we now have addicts all around us. Smoking substances we are claiming to be uh, ignorant about. Their evils will, will get to us. Please ask, your, ask those questions. It will not take anything from you. Not, my man is pleading with you. I know things are tough, but if you can feed yourself, you can feed an extra amount from your community. If you can take care of your own self, if you can pay your bill, you can pay the bill of two extra persons from your community. It begins with that. I didn't say go and start a charity or a foundation where you harvest everybody out of the street. I am saying that with a little in your hand, you can, if you have, if you can eat, cook four cups of rice for a family of two, someone can eat the other extra and live with you. Please. It begins with that little thinking. Leave the big, big project. Those ones will come. But the little way of guaranteeing a youth a livelihood is something nice. You can eat, you can have shelter over your head and a cloth to put on. These three things. Shelter over his or her head, then clothing minimally to every youth. The potentials of such youth will one day spring up to your own shock. There is greatness deposited in every youth you see around you. Think to yourself, for instance, beat your chest and ask, was there any time you thought you was going to be who you are today? If you were double sure, why didn't you write a book about it so that I will read it today? You weren't sure. Life happened and you're good. You can drive a car. You can move around. Yeah, but these ones are taking a, a direction that will not make such life happen around them because an addict, the life of an addict, if you read it up, in a society like ours, is crazy. They will end up roaming the street. And when they start roaming as mad people, some of them will go into some high level of crime to maintain their addiction. Those things will not be good for us. Ask your people. They all have relations. The reason of this for this telecast is that all these people who are turning addict on a daily basis have relations that they revere, they value. It, take, it starts with, it begins with, one day, my brother, how are you? What are you doing now? It begins with that. The honest ones will tell you what they are doing and what they intend doing. Even if they don't have, looking at them and assessing them, you know what befits them because of your exposure, because of your education, because of your you know, experience in living. You will have known what is good for a young man, a young lady of that age. You engage them. We can't remain champions forever. Other champions will have to take over and maintain our legacies and good thinkings. So if you're not picking people around you today, you're not doing it right. Please do it. Please do it. Do it consciously. Do it deliberately. Do it for the sake of posterity. Do it by so doing you leave a footprint on the sand of time. Dr. Maman is happy that we have us here. There is one million and one things we can do in our little ways to impact life. Please, Umun Doki, we beg on you. We beg you. Jettison every other gossip you've heard. Jettison everything your relations and friends will have said about you. Those things will not stand the test of time. It is only, only success that has friends. Poverty and penury will always attract, you know, enemies. Make someone successful today. Be deliberate about it. See to it that someone is bigger than you. Cut see your effort. Yes. Take it personal. It's a plea on your heart. We are begging you as your group because there is nothing we can do. 
There is no way and there is no time you would disregard what concerns your own world. Because family is the smallest unit of the society. If in your family you have a drug addict or someone who is uh, constantly abusing substances that can no longer revive, that is headed, that is nose diving, who that is nose diving to crashing, and you keep mute about it, you may have not done yourself any good. Because this evil, you cannot tell where they will start springing up if you don't check them today.